Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the multiple inboxes feature of Gmail. It allows you to keep searches and labels of emails really close to you right in your inbox. Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to use multiple inboxes in Gmail. What do I mean by multiple inboxes in Gmail? Well, if there's a way to keep your new email or your inbox at the top in Gmail, and then underneath it would be various labels or searches. Probably it's probably better if I show you. And by default, here's my inbox. It has all my messages there. And you can adjust how many messages are shown in the settings. Well, we're going to show you how you can also, as you scroll down here, you could also have, say, your to-do label or your outside email label or searches right in your inbox. To do that, we have to go to settings and underneath the inbox tab, there is an inbox type. We're gonna set this to multiple inbox, multiple inboxes. So now we have five different se sections that we can use and this goes in after your inbox. So the first one, and it asks for a search query. Well, if you don't know what that is to, for your particular label, you can go over to my to-do, and here's my search query. So an easy way to find out what you wanna put in for that search is to do the search on your inbox first, and then copy and paste that. So I'm gonna copy that. Switch to my inbox, multiple inboxes, and I'm gonna put that search query in there. It's gonna find all the emails that I've labeled with to-do and section names optional, I would put it in there. To do. Now when I save this, we'll go back to my inbox. And at the top of the inboxes are my regular inbox, but now I have more of the inbox and it's showing all of my messages in the to do. Pretty sweet. You can do other searches. So if you want to always have your email from your superintendent or your principal, you can make up a search for that. And in this case, that important person is going to be Jenna Webster at educate.me. Very VIP. So now I have my multiple inboxes. I have my regular inbox, I have my to-do, and then I have my VIP, which I have emails from that person. We can also do another one for our outside mail. If you've seen my videos on filtering, you would know what I'm talking about here. So that's, I'm gonna copy that. Now I'm gonna save this, and now I'm gonna have four basically inboxes in my inbox. So when I go to my inbox, I have my regular inbox, I have my to-do list, my VIP, and my outside email. So I can see the important pieces of information that I need, the important emails, right in my inbox without having to click on to-do or doing a search or however else you wanted to do it. You can do it right with multiple inboxes. Now, the one pain with multiple inboxes is this is the order they're going to show up. And unfortunately, there's no way to just drag and drop these because we probably want our VIP to be the top one. So basically, you have to do the copy, cut and paste. And actually, I like to have my outside email next. So yeah, this part is a pain and I don't know if a lot of people don't use multiple inboxes enough that Google will make this a little bit easier to do.
So now I'm in my inbox. I have my regular inbox emails. I have my VIP. I have my outside emails and then I have my to do. I don't have to jump around here. If you use my tip for the only Gmail filter teachers will meet, need, link down in the description. This is a great way to separate and keep your outside email, outside email in your inbox without actually having it take up space in the actual inbox. And anytime that you're tired of this or you don't want to see it anymore, you can go back to settings, inbox, and change this to default. And I don't like these categories, so I'm unchecking them. So now I'm back to my normal. And it seems to save those inboxes. I don't know why. Now, an important, another important piece of information about this is it's going to use your number of emails right here on how many emails are going to show up in that. So we can put this at 10 if we want. And now it'll only show up 10 and I don't have that many in each one, so it didn't change. But <laughs> that's a neat way to, uh, the multiple inboxes is great on these searches. And these searches can be whatever you want. Maybe you want to have your sent email in there. If I go to all email, where is it? Oh, there it is. So in sent is my search. And now I have sent. And it's ordered by, and you see, showing one to 10. And it's ordered by the newest at the top. So you can see what you're working on that day or what you've sent out that day, if you're wanting to keep track of all that. These sections can be collapsed with the little uh, carrot, vertical, rotated, less than, greater than sign, rotated carrot, whatever you want to call that little thing. So you can collapse them if you want. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure to like this video and visit me over at educate.me. Stay classy.